Hey trappers, time for your weekly tip of the week from my line to yours. And today I'm gonna go over my trapping sled here. And the type doesn't really matter. Everybody's got their own choices like a Ford and a Chevy. I just happen to be riding a 2012 Scandic wide track with a 600 Ace. So we'll start right up with the handlebars. And I gotta have gauntlets. My hands are kind of sissies, so I gotta have gauntlets on them. And, and these are actually a ski -Doo model that are pretty nice. So the plastic on the top ain't, ain't worth it, but I ended up because we had to patch it up. But anyway, handlebar bags, if you've never had handlebar bags, they're, they're something to behold. So lots of storage. I'm big on storage. So in this front one here, I carry my dispatch gun my 22 mag and my binoculars are in there in the bottom one i got gps my tablet uh extra ammo earplugs flagging tape stuff like that and those are actually ski -Doo bags right there that i modified uh put two together and had them sewed and then these ones are a ATV fender bag and tank bags. You can usually buy them for pretty cheap. I just cut the harnesses and straps off them and then use a uh, fender washer and uh, just blow right through the, the cowling with the fender washer front and back and, and they work pretty good. So this one I carry my rope because it's accessible, real handy. Um, in there I got my ice grousers for the bottom of my boots. In this one over here, hey, there's your coffee. I got uh, my coffee cup, extra goggles, warm gloves. And the, you can buy them for pretty cheap, you know, Amazon or um, just Walmart. You find them on sale, they're expendable. This bag right here was an old day pack fanny pack that I had and just cut the straps off did the same thing I bolted it to my box there and in here the big bag here I carry my big thermos full of hot water for ice and in wolf gear and then uh, trail marking reflectors and my staple gun uh, in here I carry gallon ziplocs for picking up wolf urine for making pee posts just walk around my shovel. I won't go anywhere without that 14 scoop shovel. Plastic or aluminum, it don't matter. I only get about a year or two out of them anyway. So, uh, and you can see how I fasten them. These little D-rings I get at Tent and Tarp, they're pretty cheap and they're just invaluable. You can put them anywhere with a pop rivet and you can see there's just a bungee cord. Things gotta be accessible, so. And that same thing, just another D-ring top and bottom, a couple bungee cords. Axe, accessible. So, um, gun boot, I don't like them. My gun boot mounted solid. My, it's gotta be able to move and uh, flex. So if it's solid mounted when it's cold and you hit something, it'll break. So this is just on there with the bungee cord. Same thing with D-rings. On the front, it's just a piece of two inch belting. And I just made a loop, pop rivet it right to the tunnel. Um, this is just my little witch's broom that I use for cleaning off sets. Chainsaws on the top. I don't keep it in my sled anymore because I contaminated a bunch of wolf gear one time when my saw gas leaks so let's open it up this is an aluminum box that a buddy of mine built for me i don't weld aluminum so um it's since 2012 so it's seven years old uh i just put new pop rivets on the on the door or the lid so let's look inside here there's my big camera that's always with me my parka coffee this is my, my partner here, my tripod. A bag full of dry, clean gloves. This is this camouflage bag right here is my retrieval 
bag that with all my my gear in there for extraction and retrieval that bag right there's just got some candy bars and granola bars and a wedge prune pruning shears a medical kit a 12 volt jump kit um, tools another bag of tools a propane torch this is a pot and a stove for cooking tie wire quart of oil toilet paper uh, this is a little LED light it's pretty ridiculous I can't even remember where I got it but it's rechargeable use that at night when making sets and stuff uh this is nails a bunch of different sizes of nails for making sets and whatever i gotta do these bags right here are bucket buddies or they're for putting on your tool bucket and they're pretty cheap but so i carry uh of course my cable cutters this is my seneca spring setting tool pliers, scrunches. These are my wrenches that I use for tightening the pan, pan, the, <laughs> the pan tension on my number nines and MB750s. Of course, extra quick links and shackles, duct tape, and uh, bung wrench. So that's about it. This stuff all, it stays on my sled at all times unless I'm using it. I got a couple different machines that I ride and they're all set up pretty much identical. I don't swap gear back and forth because I'll forget it and take the wrong machine. And But anyway, uh, that's your tip of the week from my line to yours.